was 33 years old, visiting my cousin Lillian, very elderly, in her very nice apartment of many decades. And the first thing Lillian said, my cousin, when are you going to Paris? Paris, where did you come up with that? Paris? I, I've never been to Paris. And she said, well, before you were married, you said you wanted to go to Paris. And now you're divorced, and when are you going to Paris? And it, it's true, I, I was divorced, and why not go to Paris? But I thought I wanted to speak French. I wanted not to just say to everyone, hi. I'm American, hi. I, I wanted to say bonjour. Bonjour. So, on a bulletin board in a, a supermarket on the Upper West Side, not far from Amsterdam, I found a flyer and it said French lessons and there was a phone number and I called it and There was a knock on the door, and we were doing quick cuts, because we're going to complete this in like three minutes. Um, there was a knock on the door, and I, I, I could tell you, I had this impression the word teacher, especially at 33, and even now, teacher means somebody older than me. I, I mean, it's getting more difficult. There are well, I'm getting older, but, but at, at 33, I was expecting a professorial kind of older person. I didn't expect someone beautiful at the door. A beautiful young lady named Dominique whose home was in Paris and she was just in New York for the summer Oh, Dominique We sat on an old couch that was a shade of off, 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 off white It wasn't my couch It was an apartment mate We sat next to each other and she handed me a kind of textbook and she would say a phrase in French and I would repeat it. And this was the nature of the lesson. She would speak and I would repeat it and speak and Bonjour, bonjour. Oui, oh oui, oh oui, oh oui. Yes, that's, that's, oh, you, you can translate it. Excellent. And what I noticed about these lessons was that in order to learn, and I really wanted to learn, I had to stare at her face very carefully. I had to observe the movements of her lips. I had to observe the movements of her tongue, well that, that mostly I imagine, movements of her tongue, Dominique, and I had this wild idea, that I wanted to kiss her, I had this wild idea, and I wanted to say something, French that would not have her respond violently to me. <laughs> so between the days of the lessons, I spent a lot
lot of time with the French English English French Dictionary. And I learned how to say, and for right now, it's already flown from my mind, but I learned how to say in French, I want to taste your lips. I thought, I thought it would be pretty and romantic to say it. And I hoped it wouldn't be disgusting to her. So during the next lesson, I interrupted the flow of, she said something, I repeat, she said something, I repeat, and I said in French, and even though I checked Google, I, I'm not going to attempt it, though it's, it's hidden in my notebook, but just imagine the most elegant sounds that translate into English to mean, I want to taste your lips. And I said this to her, Dominique. And I knew she got it because she went silent. And she just kind of stared straight ahead and didn't look at me. And she said it with her charming Parisian accent that I will not attempt to duplicate because it's just, just imagine a charming Parisian accent. She said, I thought you were serious, that you were a serious student, that you wanted to learn French so that you could speak French in Paris, in France. And I said, yes, yes, I want to speak French and speak it to people in Paris, and I also want to kiss you. a very romantic moment, even though I said the words New Jersey. It was, it, was, it was still. And we sat on a park bench with a lot of view of sparkling lights. We sat next to each other almost like we sat on that off, 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 off white couch. And we held hands And she moved her fingers to the side of my face And we tasted our lips together yeah. <laughs>